Navi, I'm exploring here! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go inside this house. I think this is the house that I'm looking for in Kakariko. Yes, the house of Skultula. Hello there. Ooh, ooh, this is not looking pretty. Ooh, we look like this because of the spider's curse, but since you've destroyed 14 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. What are they referring to here? They're referring to the gold skulltulas, and this is where you get your rewards from these gold skulltulas. In increments of 10, you can come back to this house for various rewards that the kids will give you, up to 50. And then when you get up to 100 gold skulltulas, you'll get the final reward. And don't worry, I'll show you what each of these critters are. Like this kid, because I risk, I should say I got 10 skulltula tokens. The curse has been broken, thank you, is a reward for you! It's a bigger wallet! Yeah, it's about time. I was tired of that cap. Now I can hold up to 200 rupees. And you'll see other spiders in this house. Yeah, this is another kid. Poor kid. Oh, ah, I'm cursed! And yet, doesn't seem to mind hanging from a web all that much, I have to say. There's another one. There's another one in this corner. Yeah, you get the idea. So we gotta rescue them. Anyway, to the graveyard! In case you don't realize, this is sort of like a wrap-up dealio of sorts of things that, you know, I have to go back and collect anyway. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm too far up, aren't I? Yeah, I think this was the one that had the one with the uh, abominable wall behind it. So let's see what's behind this thingy here. At least I think this was the grave. Yes, it was, and yeah! Yay! Now, what do we get in here? I don't, oh, a fairy fountain! This I could use since I, you know, use up that fairy because I was an idiot. <laughs> so I'll just grab one of these critters here. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Uh, you die instantly when you run out of time in those above, I mean, uh, in those super heated areas. So that's my fault there. Anyway, let's go back outside here. And I should probably show you how to use those bugs now. Remember that I got the bugs from the graveyard area? They were way over here. Like you've seen the bugs that were under this rock here. Yeah, those. Uh, there is... As I said, soft soil patches that you can find around the area. I forgot where the one is in the graveyard, though. But I would like to show you. There's definitely one here, though. <laughs> I know that for sure. Ah, here we go. Okay. Navi, stop beeping me. Okay, what you want to do here is whenever you see a soft soil patch like this... Whip out your bugs right on top of it, and as soon as you plop them out, immediately swing your bottle to capture another one. For some reason, they breed in the bottle or something like that, and two comes out of three or something like that. And what... Ah, there we go. And when a bug goes inside that little hole, a gold skulltula will pop out, and you'll be able to get a token from it. There's ten of these dirt patches around the world, but strangely, only nine of them contain gold skulltulas. The only one that doesn't contain one is the first one you see at Zora's River. Anyway, let's continue our exploration. Alright, this is something that I'm really embarrassed I forgot about during... Wow, well, I, that I caught when I was looking over the footage. I was like, oh no! Though I probably should have put a subtitle over it or something like that. Uh, this Skulltula over here... Uh, get get out of my way. Okay. Uh, uh, this is not going to work here. <laughs> I was way too close to the mountain. Okay, this one here. I didn't notice this at all. Oh, I should say I forgot about this. Is that... You can climb this wall! So you don't need the boomerang for the Skulltula. Ah! What was I thinking? I totally forgot about that. Ah! Anyway, as long as I'm here, I might as well unearth the Skulltula over here. So let's just plop a couple bugs in this one here. At least I think this will work this close. 
Yes, it will. Now, quickly catch one. And yeah! Yeah, there's three more of the suckers. And... Woo! It just appeared out of nowhere. It appeared like it was like using Minimize or something like that. And there we go! That's another gold skull to ya. <coughs> skull to ya. Skull to la for you. There's this bombable wall further up the trail, which I'm gonna see what's behind. I don't think there's anything of interest behind. Oh, maybe there is. There's a delightful looking treasure chest. Whoa! 50 rupees! That was worth it! Okay, back at Goron City here. You'll notice that there's some bombable boulders around here that you might as well take care of as long as you're here. Uh, or at least just, you know, to clear the path and, and whatnot. Um, what I'm looking for here is a... I believe... There is a thing. A thing that leads to a crate with a skull to love that I remember that was on this upper route here. Whoa! I really threw that far. <laughs> and I'll just drop that there. Navi! I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, wait, wait, what a s wait a second. These boulders. Don't I need the megaton hammer to get through them? Or is this just a boulder maze here? I think it's a boulder maze. I completely forgot about this thing. <laughs> I remember that there is a path on the upper route that led to a skull to la. But I don't remember a boulder maze. There's got to be some reward at the end of this. I mean, come on now. We're talking about a boulder maze. <laughs> Evidently, those darker colored rocks you can't blow up. So, whatever. Treasure chest. And... More rupees! And I almost maxed out my rupee stash here. Wait, I hope, wait, I hope this isn't more rupees. Oh, dang it! I have rupee overflow again! Ah, I should have went to Kokiri Forest to get another shield. Ah, ow! Oh, I guess there's a Skulltula. <laughs> and there we go, there's your token. Woohoo! Oh, it's under this room. Oh, there's some bugs underneath that rock, I guess, if you need them. That's pretty handy, I guess. Oh boy! <laughs> over here at Goron City, there's this wall that I can bomb over here. And why didn't I just use the bomb flowers? That would have been a lot cheaper on my bomb stash here. <laughs> but I'm just gonna bomb my way in here and see what is up behind this wall. It might just be a path through the city. I think maybe I'm not sure actually I don't wow there's a lot of walls here no I mean someone didn't want people to come through here oh this guy this guy will forge you a sword but this sword you don't want let me just say that it'll break after a couple uses it may be powerful yeah you have to wait a couple of years you'll know what I mean when uh, uh, we get to that point, but that guy right there will give you a pretty good sword, but forget about him entirely. Oh, this guy. Oh, 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 this guy. I know what I need to do. I think I can get this now. Go inside this tunnel. Yeah, for some reason you have to be in this tunnel. And you have to bomb him when he's in this tunnel here. So I'm just going to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll get close to... Oh. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll get close to him and be like a human bomb or something. There we go. And... Man, this guy is huge! And he's... Oh, am I in his crotch? <laughs> and he gives you a bomb bag upgrade! This is one of two that you can get. You now carry 30 bombs and your bombs are refreshed. Yes! And he'll continue to roll like that. Ah! Yes, he will. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go look for some more stuff to collect. Okay, remember this place? Yeah, with Dar Darina here, I believe his name is... Pr no, no, I didn't mean to pull that out. <laughs> that actually sounded pretty bad. Anyway, light a stick. Whoa, 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 camera turned around. Bad camera. Okay, now go down here and start lighting these torches here along the base of that giant pot. This will actually make the giant pot start move. Why do I keep using the wrong button? 
It's like I keep I reverse left and right on the C stick for whatever reason. And what what are you do? Link, why are you spinning with the pot? Uh, anyway, now what you want to do is go to the upper level. You can do this with bomb flowers as well, uh, but it's much, much easier to do with bombs. And what you want to do is just throw a bomb inside that pot. Well, whenever you can. It's, it's kind of tricky to do, but... Uh, oh, I got it on my first try. Now, if you get a happy face, you'll get a prize for it. So this is kind of like roulette, so to speak. Uh, now I got some more bombs. That's just a um, neutral face, so to speak. Uh, are you going to start spinning once again, or am I... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's try this again, and I think I did this a little too early. Yeah, I did. Okay. Did it get inside? I didn't... No, it didn't. Okay. Come on, happy face. Put on your happy face, baby. Mm, this could take a while if this doesn't work out well. <laughs> Oh, 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 dang it! I don't need rupees. My wallet's full, dang it. Okay, happiness roulette, here we go. There's only one left, and it better be the one. I mean, dang it. <laughs> yeah! You get a bunch of rupees and a heart piece. Yoo-hoo! Happy days! And just as long as I'll, just as long as I know this thingy now. I will do that and blow up the wall just by touching the bomb flower. And what is behind here? Isn't there a shop behind here? Maybe I can buy a Deku shield in here. <laughs> uh, what do you have for me, shopkeep? Uh, don't bother buying this. I can get one for free later. Uh, that's for your bottle. Why even bother buying hearts? Uh, bombs of various sizes. You've got nothing of use, man! Nothing of use! Okay, let's look for some more stuff. Oh man, if this was Super Mario Galaxy, I'd be able to spin here and get some Star Bits! Alright, I decided to take the warp from Goron City over to the Lost Woods to go and do a little thingy here. If you recall, there was a soft soil patch. I think you know what we're going to be doing over here. Yep! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come out, little critters. Go on Earth myself a skull to law. We must save the family. And Woo! Yeah. Whoa. Oh, dang it! Give me my token. Alright, if you recall, there was a thingy next to the shop. Oh yeah. Let's take care of this right now for the heck of it. Just so we can get this out of the way as long as we're backtracking back at the forest. Grab another bug. And blah dee blah blah. You don't have to tell me every single time, game. And ah! Stop ramming your face into the Skulltula's Link. Woo! And as long as we're at the shop. Might as well buy another Deku Shield. Shopkeep! Uh, I need a shield. Thank you! Yay! <laughs> now let's look for a little more stuff. As a matter of fact, I think now that I got so many rupees and I got the upgraded wallet, maybe what I'll do is go do that heart poning grave digging tour with Dompe the Gravekeeper back at the graveyard. So I'll see you there. Lady, what's the matter? They're gone again? No, you don't have to do this again. <laughs> Okay, in the graveyard, between certain hours, uh, I don't really know the hours offhand, uh, but basically when the wolf howls, enter Kakariko Village, and you'll be at the right time. Anyway, this is the heart-pounding grave-digging tour here. Now, here's a little trick. Save your game at Dodongo's Cavern, so if this messes up, you don't have to restart this, you know, you don't have to take a long walk here every time you want to restart this. So, basically you'll restart your game just by turning off the game and then coming back to the Dongo's Cavern rather than Kokiri Forest. Now, 
He can dig at any of the dirt spots around here and you'll find various treasures. Now, as you can see, you sometimes get rupees, but other times you'll get a piece of heart. Now, this is 100% randomized. So I can't help you with this in the slightest. You just gotta hope to be extremely lucky. See, there's nothing there. And he'll continue this path around all these places here, all those graves. So if you just dig at each one of these, you'll eventually get a heart piece out of it. I wish you luck on this and hopefully it won't take you too many rupees. But that's why I wanted to get an upgraded wallet here so that it would, you know, save me a little bit of time that I wouldn't have to keep going back and forth for, you know, nothing most of the time. And there's nothing here. Dang it. Okay, let's go through the graves until he finds a spot that will work. Maybe it'll be the grave that has the one with the flowers on it. I don't know. Oh, please. Please. I got blue rupees. No, this is the last grave though. Oh, where? Heart piece, please be here. Oh, no. Oh, it really truly is 100% random. Okay, during a second run through here, I decided to look up the poop here. Um,. It's recommended that you dig in dirt patches, not on the stones themselves. So, let's try it. No, okay. That, well, at least that's what the guide says. And, yeah. So, I'm going to try that until I get the piece of heart. So, avoid any of these rocky gravel paths like you see here. And just look for dirt patches like you see right here that I'm standing on. And yeah, that might take him a while to come around. So I'll see you then. Hopefully I'll be able to get this sucker. Yeah! Finally! Jesus! Oh! Oh! And it gave me another heart container. I'm glad to get that one over with. That's one of my least favorite side quests to do in the entire game. One thing I'm going to do in this part that's left, and then I'm going to end off this part. And it's just outside Kakariko Village. Maybe the reaction to finding that heart piece in the heart pounding grave digging tour is what makes it heart pounding? Uh, the thing that I was thinking about didn't quite work out. I'll show you what it is later, though. I needed the boomerang for it again. Anyway, the guards that were over here back at Hyrule Castle are now gone for whatever reason. I guess they figured out that they don't need to guard this uh, rock for whatever reason. <laughs> dead end? No, it's not a dead end. Don't be ridiculous. There's this hole here. What is that sign talking about? I have no idea, but let's go inside here. Uh-oh. I'm not liking the looks of this title. Please don't be one here. Please? Oh god. Ah, another one! Why, Arceus, why? Oh, full body view, oh my goodness gracious, incredibly pointy, polygonal, never mind, never mind. Oh, great fairy of magic, you better have something worthy of me coming here. Please. Ooh, red and shiny, well, it's more glowy than shiny, actually. But the thing is actually shiny. It's called Din's Fire, and now you can create a very large round, it's like a almost explosion type of flame. I'll show you how it works uh, in just a minute here. So, yeah, I know that. And it also uses magic, me uh, magic in your meter as well. I forgot to explain magic in the other parts. Uh, basically, that little green meter there goes down depending on how much magic power your thing uses. Din's fire uses quite a lot of magic. Did you see it turn yellow there? 
And this is what it does, basically. And you can use this to light torches, kill enemies, and whatnot. And that's all that I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. I said part like three times there. Ta-doo!